Online marketing can sometimes feel like a bit of a hellscape of bro marketers and sleazy tactics and people telling you you've got to be doing 23 reels a day. And it can be a lot. And the truth is you don't need to be doing everything. But if you're selling anything online, the one thing you probably do need is a sales funnel. And today I'm going to be talking you through a more human approach to what a sales funnel is and how you can start creating one for your business. Hey folks, welcome to the channel. If you're new here, my name is Wayne. I'm a creative director and a brand designer, and I'm here to help you create a beautiful impact with your business. So what the hell is a sales funnel anyway? Well, as you can imagine, there's no shortage of definitions on the internet for what a sales funnel is, and most of them just sound jargon-filled and unhuman. I mean, what sadist created the term tripwire when you're talking about marketing to humans anyway? I like to think of it in more human terms. So a sales funnel is a step-by-step -step journey of the relationship between you and somebody in your audience. It starts when your eyes meet across a crowded room, or more likely, they discover that you exist on the internet. And then it goes all the way through step-by-step -step until they're ready to make a commitment. In other words, you get a sale. The whole thing is a process, and it starts with them just getting to know you, and it ends with them being so sure that they trust you and they want to work with you that they're ready to hand over money to do so. And the great thing is that if we break this down and look through the whole process, we can actually plan step by step how to make that process smoother and easier and to ensure that there is the best possible outcome for both parties. A quick caveat before I go any further. Of course, sales funnels can be way more complicated and complex. There are entire agencies dedicated to creating incredibly complex sales funnels with incredibly perfectly optimized stages. But most of my clients are human beings that want to do what they love and they want to make a difference. And they need a sales funnel that helps them get more buyers for their offer and doesn't make them feel icky. So that's why I'm suggesting in this video, we just go back to basics. In general, there are agreed upon stages within a sales funnel. And the four main ones that most people use are awareness, interest, decision, and action. There can be more steps, and actually there can be smaller steps in between those that help people move from one phase to the next. But those are the four basic phases, and they're a good place to start. So let's start with awareness. Awareness is how and when people find out about you. How do they become aware of your existence? Number two is interest. And this is where people start to find out more about you. It's where you kind of nurture and build that relationship and they start to know, trust, and like you. The decision stage is when they know that they wanna work with you. And basically this is the part where you have to give them all the information and the reassurance so that they're ready to make the decision and click that buy button. And the action phase is about them actually clicking that buy now button. This is the phase where you make sure that your offer is perfect for them. You give them all the information and all the reassurance they need so that it's easy and simple for them to just click the button and purchase your offer. Now, the interesting thing about this process is that essentially any sales experience follows the same process, even in the terrifying real world. So if you have a look at just a shopping experience, the shop window acts as that awareness stage. You become aware of this company and their products because you see their shop window and you see the products there. Then you go inside and the interest phase is that you like what you see and you're now starting to explore, find out a bit more about them. You like the experience in the shop, you like the way things look, and that's when you get ready to move into the decision stage. You've found something you like, you definitely wanna buy something from the shop. And what you need is some reinforcement to help you make that decision. So maybe this is where you show people how it could look on one of the mannequins, and you tell them that you've got all their sizes and it's easy for them to try them on. And then it goes through to the action phase. They're ready to buy, so what do you do? You make it easy for them to go to a checkout with no long queues, and of course there's a money back guarantee so that they are absolutely reassured to take action and pay the money. Let's have a look at an online example. Somebody finds you on Instagram. That's where they discover you. That's where they learn about who you are, the fact that you exist. 
Then they sign up for your newsletter and over the next few months, you nurture that relationship. You talk to them, you send them emails, you add value, and they start to really know, like, and trust you. Then they move to the decision phase where they're pretty sure that they want to work with you or they want to buy your product. And so this is where you outline the offer that you have, you show them your sales page, you give them all the information they need so that they are absolutely sure they're ready to buy. And then the action stage is where you point them to a really streamlined checkout, make it easy for them to give you the money, and make that experience really good for them. Now, different people use different names for these stages sometimes, so don't let that derail you if you see them called different things. It's still essentially the same structure. For example, my business coaches, Caroline and Jason Zook from Wandering Aimfully, they use the terms find, nurture, propose, and sell, which just seems much more natural and human to me. So let's use those going forward for the rest of this video, and I'll show you how we work with those. So using that more human language, the first stage is find. How do people find out about us? Where do they see us? How do we get in front of more people? The second stage is nurture. How do we spend time getting those people to know us, to like us, to feel confident that we're the right person to be working for them or for them to buy from? The third stage is propose. How do we put our offer in front of them? How do we make that offer something that they really want and they feel confident buying? And then the fourth phase is buy, which is how do we make it easy for them to buy by giving them the information, reassurance that they need, and also making it really simple for them to click that button and pay. Now, this whole process can be quick or slow, depending on the product, depending on the audience, whether it's people who know you already, etc. This can be something that takes days or months, depending on what you're offering and how you nurture that relationship with these people. Now, obviously, I talk quite a lot about sales pages. And in general, your sales page would fit into the propose section of a sales funnel. It's where you would put your offer in front of people. But a really good sales page is itself a sales funnel. It's kind of a microcosm of what we've just talked about. You, you first attract people's attention with a really compelling headline, something that relates to them, that captures their attention and makes them feel like you're talking directly to them. Then you nurture that relationship by showing them that you understand their pain points, by presenting them with possibilities of what they could be, showing that you understand their dreams and hopes as a human being. Then you show them what the actual offer is, and you give them reassurances. You show them proof that this really works, so that you've proposed that to them. And then when they get to the buy button, they know that they're ready to click and take action, and you make that sale by giving them reassurance, giving them maybe a money-back guarantee, or encouraging them to take action with a fast-acting bonus or something similar. So you can see how just that one page follows the same sales process or sales funnel structure. Now, I know that this can feel like a lot, but don't let it overwhelm you. Just work through it step by step, thinking about these phases and how you move someone from one phase to the next so that they're comfortable to buy. If you find it difficult to create sales pages, then I've got you. If you go to the link in the description below this video or that's on the screen right now, you can download my free sales page template for use in Canva. It's got all the sections you need to take people on this journey, um, and it also includes copy prompts for you as well as a video series and a PDF to help you go through it step by step and make it easy for you to create your own high converting sales page. So download it, use it, and please let me know how it goes. Okay, so back to talking about the funnel. The real key to a successful sales funnel is understanding your audience and taking them through this process. Really draw on what you know about your audience, about your ideal customer, and then plan step by step how you can get in front of them, how you can move them from that to being able to nurture them in a slightly longer term relationship, and then how do you move them to a point where they feel reassured and they know they want to work with you? And then ultimately, how do you make sure that they're ready to click buy? Because these people are humans. They have fears, frustrations, dreams. And if you can understand and tap into all of those and plan out this journey that they take with you from getting to know you to buying from you step by step, it makes it so much easier for you to get loyal customers and it makes it easy for you to then think about automating this process 
so that some of that happens without you having to worry about it. It happens just automatically. But that's an entirely different video, which I'll do in the future. A couple of things I did want to mention, and the first is that the reason it's called a funnel is because you start with a huge amount of people, and generally it's funneled down to just the right people who are definitely going to buy from you. So just remember that people will drop off at every stage, and that's okay. You want to funnel it to people who become loyal customers who then can also talk about and promote your offer. And the second thing I did want to mention is you really have to think about sales funnels as a kind of ever-evolving tool. As you develop them, as you try them, you have to kind of measure the success, see whether they resonate with people, see where people are dropping off, and you then have to tweak and adjust. You have to keep making changes and compromises and learning more about each stage of this funnel to make sure that it works for you and your business. It's the same as any relationship. If they didn't like the white wine you brought the first date, bring champagne on the second. It's pretty much inevitable they're eventually going to fall for you. Now I've got a couple of things to ask of you. The first is, in the comments below, I would really appreciate if you would let me know, do you have a sales funnel written out or planned out for your business? And if not, why not? What's stopping you? And the second request I have is, if you found this video helpful, I'd really appreciate it if you would sign up for Meaningful Creations, which is my weekly design dispatch email that has tips and tricks and more tutorials and goes out every week to everybody in my community. And of course, don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button on this video because it really means a lot to me and it lets me know that you want more information like this. And of course, it helps small creators on YouTube. That's it, folks. A very basic introduction to what a sales funnel is, hopefully demystifying it a little bit and making it easier and more human for you to understand and apply to your business. As I said, please let me know in the comments um, whether you have a sales funnel and if not, why not? And also feel free to ask any questions and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. That's it from me. Have a really fabulous day.